and you may know what it feels like to fall in love with a town. Now, if you actually experienced Millsboro, it happens over and over, whether it's the family feel, the practically perfect location hidden there at the beach, or the downtown packed with brick and mortar businesses, there's so much to love in this small town. Yeah, and if you don't believe us, just look at the numbers. This community is growing quickly. Delmarva Life's Katie Zerilli chatted with town manager Jamie Burke to learn more. Snugly settled slightly to the east in Sussex County sits the small town of Millsboro. Uh, right in the middle at the crossroads of 113 and Route 24. A quaint community just before you hit the beach. And I think that is what draws people to town. They come through, passing on the way to the beach, um, going from points west and points north to points south and east. And uh, they stop and they uh, drive through a downtown and realize what the uh, the jewel that is Millsboro. And that jewel sparkles and shines so brightly, in fact, that everyone wants a part of it. According to town manager Jamie Burke, they're coming in herds to call this place home. We're seeing approximately a 10% population growth year over year, uh, which leads the county uh, and at times will lead the state. Uh, our building permits, uh, we're issuing more than anybody else in Sussex County and sometimes more than other towns, uh, close to the trajectory that Mills, uh, Middletown has in northern Delaware. And it's not just a rise in the area's residents. Business is booming, too. We're really excited. Nectar um, Juice Bar from, from Lewis is going to be opening downtown uh, here shortly, and that's going to be just really cool for people that would travel to Lewis. They may take a day instead of come, go to Lewis, come to Millsboro. Uh, we have some new restaurants coming online and uh, some really cool businesses downtown uh, that attract uh, you know, people, residents, visitors, and other businesses. In response to this great growth, the town is investing in new infrastructure, namely a new police station and a second water treatment facility. And so that way you don't get to a point where you can't grow anymore or you can't serve the, the needs of the people that are already here. And as you can see, Millsboro's second water treatment plant is under construction. It's a work zone back there. Everybody's working hard. I think it already looks great and I can't wait to see it completed. There's plenty to see and experience now though, too. They've got a place for the pups, top-notch Little League fields for the young sportsters, a library for book lovers, and Cupola Park for, well, everyone. Um, it's a great spot. It, you'll always see activity here. We've got a, um, some great uh, equipment for the kids. Uh, the pavilions here, we'll see people doing uh, birthday parties at the pavilions. Uh, we do a concert in the park series, uh, typically Tuesday nights during the summer on the bandstand uh, behind us. But wait. There's more on the event calendar. They just hosted the Dam Mill Run, the longest running 5K in Sussex County. Uh, it's, it, this was the 40th year uh, for it, and we had a huge turnout, and it ended in the park right here. Uh, and that's a cool thing, um, to still have those, those traditions, something that lasts 40 years. Uh, we also do Stars and Stripes, uh, which is our annual, uh, the Chamber's annual event. Stars and Stripes typically happens in July, but this year it was postponed to September 30th. But those are the kind of cool things that are, you know, small town feel, uh, incorporating all the people that have moved here. Because the people are the passion of this place. Uh, we have a, a framed picture in the office that says uh, small towns are like family, and that's really how we operate here. Um, so it's a family effort. We all put in our 100% uh, to help each other out and to provide the best services for the residents, visitors, and business owners in town. And Jamie's here to put that 100% in for the long haul. I would love to retire here. We just had an employee uh, who today is uh, his, his retiring, is his last day, and he's been here for 47 years. Now I'm a little long in the tooth to put 47 years in, but I'd like to be here till I retire and leave that legacy behind and, and just show how it's like camping, you want to leave it better than you found it. And right now, this community gets better and better every single day. And with all the interest in Millsboro, Katie asked Jamie if there are homes for sale. He said they've got a good stock of resale and there is a lot of new construction. And you see it every day. How are you going to be able to resist this? Mm.